Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, almost got nothing from these ones. Um, very little from the sulphur deposits. They look like there's a lot there, but really not getting a lot from it. So I might have to sacrifice the large section of Stonehenge uh, in order to uh, get the sulphur sample we need. Nothing at all off this one, nothing at all. I'm hoping these are a bit better. Okay, B14 was much, much better, better yield from that. So I've collected about mm, 16 milligrams of samples like this one, segments from the inside of the outside of the 24 inch thunderstorm generator. And that is in here. And we're gonna to add to that some of this sulfur deposit, hopefully, uh, because we're going to be looking in these tests for sulfur 34 over 30, uh, 32. Get my worms right. And uh, I have no idea how this is going to go. So let's see. Are we going to get any material useful at all off it? Oh, yes, the sulfur's coming quite nicely. Uh, that is quite nice. Have a look at closer that. That deposit is coming off quite nicely. So, this is what we are going to add to that container, and hopefully, we will get a reading. I still have the sample that I already did some SEM on, so I'm not going to feel too bad about this. Taking some nice macro photographs as well. So this is calcium sulfate, so it's got oxygen in there and sulfur that came out of the system. Hopefully this will also give us the oxygen 18 over oxygen 16 data we're looking for. Whether it will show anything interesting, I don't know. But this is this deposit going. So the first part of the sample really is to look for delta 13 over delta 12, which will give us an idea of stepwise transmutation from carbon. Also, hopefully, maybe we will see some nitrogen in there, nitrogen 15 over 14. And then this, hopefully, will give us an answer the oxygen 18 over oxygen 16 and the oxygen and the rather sulfur 34 over sulfur 32. This is a lot easier to remove actually than the uh, carbon 
carbon from some of the samples, which was very difficult to remove, to be honest. Some of the samples gave almost no material. I think we've got enough for these tests. I hope. There it goes, Malcolm. Of course, in here, can be loads of these iron rich crenellated spheres. <laughs> edge I think that's the plan in theory Hopefully, I can get this into our sample container without losing too much of it. Actually, going to take a small sample of that um, into a separate container. Well, this is quite interesting. Look, I can actually roll this whole agglomeration around in here using this magnet. So there's a lot of magnetic material in there. So the starting weight of the sample vial was 2.214 grams and the finishing weight with the carbon and the sulfur in there is 2.252 at that sample, 2.253 and I'll we'll just drop it on there again 2.252 so that is approximately half of carbon and half of the calcium sulfate material so 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 4 it's 30 uh, 37, yeah. So there's a little bit more sulfur material in there. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.